four Scorpios. So I put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. It's a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading is the center card in the first part of the reading. So the overall energy is the star. Very deep spiritual healing card here. That surrounds your entire reading. And we have a few cards left for the second part of the reading. Okay, Scorpios. The overall energy of this reading it's the star. This is the card for Aquarius, so Aquarius might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But this is deep spiritual healing right down to your bare bones. So this is what we're going to talk about. Um, it's about the healing. Uh, you're, you've been going through a healing process or you are going to, well, we'll just read and find out why it surrounds the entire reading. We have this strength card up in your highest energy this is the card for leo leo might be strong in your chart or someone else is around this reading but this tells me that you will find the strength and the courage to do what you know you need to do in order to heal and this is deep healing i mean very spiritual deep deep i have the ace of wands next to the strength card right above the star this is going to create you a fresh start and a new beginning. Isn't that lovely? So you're, doing, you're using your strength and courage to do what you know you need to do to get your healing done so you can have your fresh start and a new beginning. So next to the Ace of Wands is the Seven of Cups. This is something you're healing over. This is something that um, you're having your fresh start and a new beginning over. Um, the Seven of Cups, none of these cups really are the right cup for you. So it's in choosing the wrong cups of love to try to move forward with. Um, they all have something else in them. They all scream like, pick me, pick me. But not one of these cups is the right cup for you. So Seven of Cups has been the problem. Not just not, not really realizing what is the right cup for you. But you're getting through choosing the wrong cup again, okay, or for the first time. And um, you're blowing up that whole situation with the tower card under the strength card. Next to all this healing, this is what you're healing from. So there was a breakup. Um, I think there was a falling apart. Could have been some arguing. But it looks like you're, you're leaving one of these seven of cups behind. I have the Fool card next to the Star and under the Seven of Cups. So this is living in the moment. It's really fun. It's really carefree. Uh, dancing along with your head in the clouds. Living moment by moment, day by day. But the reason it's called the Fool card is eventually you come to the edge of the cliff. And that's when you start looking towards security, stability, commitment, and the things that are not associated with the fool's energy. So I feel like this is part of your healing too. Is that you were in a relationship where you, you know, were just throwing caution to the wind and having fun. But then it turned out that you came to a place where you wanted more and they probably did not. Because normally with the fool card, both do not end up looking forward at the same time. So under the tower card is the hanged man. Being enlightened, boy. This is like hanging out on your own, letting all the blood rush to your head and just being enlightened about what is going on here. And I think this is how you're finding your strength and courage to do what you know you need to do. And you're going to this place of healing in order to move forward in, in a way that you will not be caught up in the fool's energy. The hanged man. It, very spiritual, very enlightening. It's right next to the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is under the star. So you're very disappointed in love. You're disappointed in the cups that you've picked. But there's two full cups right above this figure. Look at that. There's hope in love. That's what I call this card, the card for hope in love. So going through all this, um, all this healing, all this enlightenment, all the destruction of what doesn't work for you. Um, it, it puts you, you're going through a transformation. I have the death card here. So you're changing. 
You're th looking at things about, uh, in a different way. This is under the fool's energy. I don't think you want to go back there to the fool's energy. Um, this is the card for Scorpio, by the way, Scorpio. Uh, but this is um, the end of the old, the beginning of the new. So it's like you're making a pledge to yourself that you are moving in a direction that is uh, different than what you were in before. That um, you feel, it's like you've learned a lot along the way. And I think this deep healing is reminding you of what you want from life, what you don't want from life. And so you're transforming back to like, you know, remembering what it is that you want from life. So Scorpios, I have the Ace of Pentacles right next to the Seven of Cups. This is the offer that you're looking for. This this is a, a beautiful, uh, strong uh, offer of commitment, okay? You have a huge pentacle that you could offer someone, and this is what you, you really want from someone. I, I knew that you wanted commitment. I knew you wanted to move forward, and you do. Uh, you might have an offer coming in. Let me keep looking. I have the Two of Swords next to the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so being in the Fool's energy, you were actually blocking that pentacle from coming forward. You weren't really paying attention to it, you know. You had your heart guarded, your swords were up, and you were just playing. You were having fun until you... See, the moon was always there trying to enlighten you about your path forward, but you didn't see it. Uh, now you're seeing it, and you're seeing that um, this Fool's energy was not getting you to, to the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> so, good for you. I have the Seven of Wands. I mean, you're dealing with it. You're moving on. Seven of Wands, this is about opinions. And these are people who love and care about you coming in with their opinions on how you should move forward. You have your own wand about how you should, should move forward. And you're going to pick and choose and sift through like all this information that people are giving you as to how they see you going forward. You need to heal to the point where you see how you're going to move yourself forward. But there might be some good information coming in. This probably maybe helped you open your eyes as to the relationship that you were in and what was happening. I had the Seven of Swords under the Ace of Pentacles and next to the Fool. Yeah, so, you know, I feel like the other person was, like, maybe hiding something from you. Like, they had no intentions of moving forward forward with you like you know they didn't they didn't want you to think that really they, all along they could have said I don't want a commitment all along they could have but you got to the point where you wanted one and you know things happen but um the seven of swords is deceitful it's just hiding energies no matter what it is it's right next to the fool I have the High Priestess next to the Seven of Swords and under the Two of Swords. You know, you may have not known that you were in the Fool's Energy. You may not have really realized that until, you know, you get to a point where you want more. And that's probably when you realized it. I have the High Priestess here. This is the card for intuition and knowing in the Tarot deck. And there's the moon again. And the moon is like um, enlightening you. And it's saying, hey... Follow your intuition. Trust and believe in what your heart, your head, and your gut tell you. Uh, because you have a lot of answers right within yourself. And this is really going to help guide you towards what you really want from life. It's going to help you see the light. You can see it just by going within. I have the Ten of Swords next to the High Priestess and under the Seven of Wands. So the truth, you know. You, you have a lot of truth within yourself. This puts an end to pain. It puts an end to sorrow. Understanding what you're going through is a big help. Um, it puts an end to those dark skies. And um, it's all because of these swords of truth and clarity. So you can move forward. Put an end to the hurt and any pain that you've been going through. I have the Ten of Pentacles under the Seven of Swords and next to the Death card. Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're after. So you got the Ace on one side of the Seven of Swords, which, you know, they didn't want a commitment. 
Ten of Pentacles on the other side. Well, it's right next to the Death card. This is what you're going to hold out for. This is how you're transforming. Now, you are going to, you know, look beyond um, what you first, like, the book's cover, okay? You're going to look deeper into people uh, and try to figure out whether or not they are available, committable, grounded, solid. There are some qualities here that are becoming very important to you. Communication, communication. This is under the high priestess. You, I think you're feeling, you, there's a couple things going on here. One thing is you should have communicated, you feel like. You feel like you should have expressed your wishes. You should have expressed what you were looking for. Um, this is texts, emails, phone calls, however you do it. Um, and it's next to the Ten of Pentacles. You should have let them know that you really want a committed long-term relationship. But from now on, you are going to communicate that. So all this deep healing and this experience that you have gone through uh, is not for nothing. Um, it's going to help you achieve what it is that you want from life. I have the Nine of Pentacles next to the Eight of Wands and under the Ten of Swords. So the Nine of Pentacles, you know, you're grounded. Like you have a pentacle, you have a huge pentacle. And, and plus nine, that's ten, and there's ten right here. So, you know, about security, stability, groundedness. I think you, you're very organized. I think you're very um, self-assured, self-efficient. Um, you have a job, car, apartment, or house. You do good on your own. But I think you just want somebody to share everything with. And so you're going to communicate instead of get hurt again about what kind of cup are they? Are they a seven of cups or are they an ace of cups? So there's a big difference between the two of them. Are they a soulmate? Uh, I do not see that this even past person was even a soulmate looking at these cards. So let's take out a guardian angel and a spirit guide card. Let's see what kind of message they have for you. It may or may not have to do with this reading, but it is a message they want you to hear. So I'm going to take one out for you. Scorpios. Scorpios, please. Pull that card out of there. My glasses. Hmm, it feels deep. Down in there. So we have the helper of abundance. I will read it to you. Although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. That person could be you. You have your guardian angels and spirit guides all around you helping you get through all this. 